Hello everyone, it's Janice May once again. Welcome into my channel. Before we start a tutorial, I just want to say hi like this face to face. I just feel it's uh, polite that way. Uh, plus, I want to show you um, the jewelry that I'm wearing because they're paper beads. So I have a collection of them and this is one of my favorites. This is an old one made out of um, scrapbook paper. The green beads are scrapbook paper. So I made this 2014 uh, to coincide with my daughter's wedding and that's her color. And I was planning on making uh, them for the bridesmaid, but of course <coughs> I didn't have time. <laughs> that was crazy. So anyway, I just want to show you that uh, the tutorial for today is um, using a tool that I found at Daiso. So I just want to go to places, <coughs> excuse me, and find and look for unusual things which you can incorporate into your paper bead making. In this case, a tool that we can use to make paper beads. So this one. It is a super precision screwdrivers and they are in different uh, different size. I'm sorry. Okay, so let me show that to you up close. This is to replace my metal roller if you've been wanting to use that you can use this instead so let's begin so this is the Daiso find that i'm talking about uh, they are made for eyeglasses but what's neat about it is that it comes in different sizes and different diameters so um, um they are coated they are they are going to be great for rolling your beads so this is a dollar fifty okay so some of you who's bought my metal roller uh this is one of my items my products and uh and you don't have access to it and you have access to daiso or your hardware store if you can find this it is just the same thing and this is better because like I said it comes in different sizes so they actually mark that as one millimeter 1.2 millimeter 1.6 millimeter and I believe this might be two millimeter now the my metal roller is comparable to this size the 1.6 or a little bit bigger this probably is 1.8 because it's also smaller than the two. So there you go. So we will try and use this. Uh, in fact, I've already used them. I've rolled a few beads. Now, to me, the metal roller or this type of roller is great for small beads. So we are going to be rolling the small beads. Now I have this already pre-cut strips of paper, which I sell online. I'll just give you a measurement of it uh, for those of you who want to cut your own paper. This is about eight and a quarter inch long and the base is three sixteenth of an inch. So we're going to be rolling that. I'm just going to be using the glue. This glue. Glue stick. Okay, I'm sorry. So let's roll one of these. And let me show you rolling with this size. This is the one point eight so what you do just put that there I'll just 
curl this up like that a little bit and then pinch it like so you may need practice with this but you'll get it after two or three tries and pinch it and roll with my two with my thumb and my index finger together like so okay sorry let me just do it again Now, the handle is very easy to, um, it's very easy to roll when you're rolling. It's just so um, convenient, I was going to say. So I'm just going to show you the whole thing. Now, if you see, now, that is kind of uh, not centered so what I'm gonna do is I just push that with my nail like that so you get it centered again or you can bump it up against this uh, like that so you can adjust it roll and straighten it up as you go this is not like a fast way to make beads but i've seen some people who are already or the workers that we have the makers the bead makers that we have in the philippines are so good at using the metal roller because that's what they use so i'll just take that and do this both sides go to both sides and then end it now the nice thing about this using the metal is um, and then when I is that the holes are nice and clean okay so just make sure it sticks and to take it off from this, I will hold it like this and twist this towards me. See how easy it's coming off because these are coated. So now you have your bead. Just fix it a little bit. It's so small. Let me just uh, see if I can show it to you like this. But you see the hole? Clean. Nice. I have made a few using that technique. And Using the bigger size, the larger size, I was able to roll. I, I roll a couple of these beads, but look how the holes are much uh, larger. So there you have it. Use this and you will get results, very nice results. Thanks for watching.